Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna unbox and install a ring doorbell using a wedge mounting bracket. All right, so the ring doorbell I'm gonna install today is just the video doorbell. So this is a pretty basic model. Um, this one is on sale right now for $59.99, down from $99.99. Comes in two different colors, uh, satin nickel, which is what I have here, and a uh, bronze color. And both of them look good, but I like the satin nickel. It's gonna go with uh, the hardware I have in the house and on the front door, uh, so it'll match pretty well. And now this one is 1080p, and this one can be used wired or wireless. So if you wanna just use it uh, with its battery, you can. Uh, and then you just basically have to take it off to recharge it. Um, I do actually have a ring doorbell now. It's a first generation. That one has a 720p camera um, and it does have a battery. Battery lasts for probably a month or two. I, don't quote me on that. And the reason I got the uh, wedge is because my doorbell is mounted to the side. So I have my door here and it's at the side. So of course you need the wedge to actually aim the camera outward so it can actually see uh, who's coming to the door. Now, there are plenty of ring options out there. Uh, there's actually a cheaper one than this if you just want to do it the wired way. And that ring video doorbell is only $39.99 on sale right now. It looks a little bit different. And if you look at some of these, you'll see that they look very similar to each other. So I'm not sure what benefits they have over others, but the basic one is going to work for me. All right, so let's open this up and take a look at what comes in the box. So of course we have the doorbell on the front, on the side. Uh, it shows you home in your hands, and this is the app that you're going to use for the ring doorbell on the back, everyday peace of mind. And on the side, we have a couple things here. Uh, so it says built-in rechargeable battery, equipped to hardwire, 1080p HD video, two-way talk, live view, real-time notifications, privacy controls, night vision, ring protect plan, uh, works with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, motion alert, and quick replies. So pretty general. It's going to work with everything. And we have a little tab on the top to open this up. And right on the side, we have our new ring doorbell. We have a screwdriver. We have a charger. So it is micro USB to USB-A. We have a setup guide and important product information. And last but not least, a ring sticker to let you know that your house is protected by ring. And taking a look around our ring doorbell, you can see on the front, uh, it's dominated by this large satin nickel piece. So again, it, it comes in satin nickel and bronze. Now uh, we have our pretty large button here. You also have a light around the button. And uh, this lights up dimly white when it's hardwired. If it's on battery, it does not. And it also turns blue and kind of goes around when someone rings the doorbell. Now, he does have a speaker on the bottom here, as you can see right here. Now on the top, we have a pretty large black strip. And then we have our camera out here. And on the back, you can see we have our mount. This does have a nice padding to it. So if you're gonna put this flat on the wall, it's not going to damage anything. And this does come off. And as you can see, that's how you put it back on. So you'll just put it on the top and then it clips back into place and you can get it off pretty easily there. On the back here, you can see we have a little orange button and we do have our two wires for uh, wiring this up. The great thing is you can mix and match those wires. They don't have to be a specific order as it says in the setup. Uh, I did set one of these up recently for my neighbor, so um, very easy to set up. And then we have our charging port right here, the micro USB, and you do wanna charge this before you actually put it up. And I just wanna show you a quick visual difference between uh, these two. So the one I have right now currently is the first generation. This one has a 720p camera, uh, and this one is the second generation video doorbell. Uh, so this one has 1080p, and it has some slight improvements also. Uh, so visually, they look almost identical. Uh, one big difference with the first one here is it has this kind of uh, camera that juts out a little bit. Now, unfortunately, mine does have some scratches on the lens, and uh, so it does cause a little bit of blur. And the second generation, as you can see, the camera is flat here. This one also has a speaker on the bottom. And uh, this one does have a speaker, but I'm not really sure where it is placed. There's not one on the bottom at all here. Um, it does have a speaker, but I know for sure that this one is louder. Uh, on the back, they're also pretty similar. I believe these screws are on the mounting bracket for the first generation here. But either way, uh, they're both very similar. Later on in the video, I will show you a comparison of the video between the now, The instructions do say to fully charge the doorbell before you use it. And then you'll go ahead and download from the App Store. Now, I do already have the Ring app on my phone here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and add it in. All right, so we're in the app here. And you can see I already have my front doorbell and uh, my driveway camera. So we'll go ahead and hit set up a device. I'm going to go to doorbells. And then scan the QR code on the Ring device. So there is a QR code here on the back. 
So we'll go ahead and say we're ready to scan. There we go, got it. And it now shows my address here. So this is where would you like to set it up? We'll go ahead and hit continue. And now it's gonna ask what you want to uh, name it. So front door, back door, office, or you can name it something custom. This is gonna go my front door. Tells you if you use the wrong screws to secure your doorbell, you could damage the battery during installation, uh, create a fire hazard, or seriously be injured. All right, locate the small security screws in the bag in the box. So those are for the bottom of the doorbell and that's to secure it to its plate. And this is gonna show us how to install. Remove the protective film, so we'll take that off. Next, grab your Wi-Fi password. So press and release the orange button on the back of your doorbell. So we're gonna go ahead and pair it now. All right, our light is spinning up white. All right, so it's preparing for setup. All right, now it says when prompted, connect to the ring or connect to the Wi-Fi network. All right, wants to join. All right, now it says it's connected and now you go in and choose your Wi-Fi network. All right, now it says setup is successful and Amazon is already connecting it to my Alexa devices. Fill in the blanks to snapshot capture and says success, continue. Just a few steps to get the best out of your Ring device. Physical installation. So we'll go through this in just a moment, but I just wanted to connect it before we do that. And you can invite shared users. And then your Ring product works even better before. Add linked devices. I think we already have all the linked devices here. Let your existing chime alert. So it is doing an update right now. All right, so after the update, we're now back at the main screen. So now I actually have two front doorbell cameras. Uh, so as you can see, we have both of them here. So here is our front door, our first generation. That's our first generation here. And then let's go ahead and check out our other one here. And this is our new one. Now we do have the plastic on there, but I can already tell that looks a little bit better than the first generation. All right, the next thing I wanna show you here is the wedge mounting bracket for the video doorbell. Now this is compatible with a bunch of different uh, ring doorbells. So the original 2020 release, two, three, and four. Now this runs for $11.98 on sale right now, $14.99 normally. They come in a couple of different prices. You'll see a, a bunch of them out there. This one in particular, I like a lot. I did install the same one for my neighbor and it looks good and works pretty well. And on the bottom of here, it does say adjustable angle mount, 30 to 55 degrees. And as you can see, it just kind of moves out and then you screw it into place on the top and bottom, it'll stay in place. So in the box, we do get our screws. You get screws to screw the actual mount to this, and then you have screws to screw into the wall uh, wherever you're gonna screw this in. It does include a screwdriver, and it includes, of course, our mount itself. And as you can see, this is how it's going to look uh, before you even move it around. Yeah, this is going to mount to the wall here and you have your wires that will pull through here, and then the actual mount for the ring doorbell will go here. And this just pulls out, and you can see the different angle. So what well, the great thing is here, once you put it in, you can just kind of move it around and see what angle works best for you. Then when you're done, screw down the top and screw down the bottom, and you'll have it all set. And in addition to screws, you also get these uh, sticky strips, and these are to go on the back of the mount for the ring. So if you're concerned about somebody stealing the ring doorbell off of the mount, um, these sticky uh, pieces will keep it stuck to the mount itself. Now, if you're going to hardwire your ring doorbell, you do need to cut off power at the breaker box to the power outside your front door, back door, wherever you're gonna be placing it. Uh, so you need to go in and just uh, check out the label to see uh, what is on each of these different breakers. Now, if you don't know which one it is, your best bet is just to cut off the main and just go ahead and do it and then turn everything back on when you're ready. All right, now that we've cut our power to our doorbell, we can go ahead and remove the old one. So if yours is like mine, you got two screws here, and then we can take it off. Pretty simple. Next, what you'll need to do is take out the actual wires. And uh, one word of advice here, once you take these out, is to grab a piece of tape so that this wire does not fall back into the house. You can grab yourself a piece of tape and then just tape it to the wall so that it won't go back in before you get to put the new one back in. Now, before we take this outside and put it on the wall, we'll go ahead and place our mount onto the wedge. All right, as you can see, we now have the bracket on here, so I just put the four screws, and those are included with the wedge kit as well. And then we can open this up completely, and then we can put the screws in here to the wall. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull the wire through here, pull this through, and then we can uh, pull it up enough 
just so that it's here. Now the great thing is, if you had an existing doorbell here and you already have holes that fit here, just make sure that it aligns up properly and it's straight. And then you can go ahead and put the included screws from the wedge in here and we can just screw that in. As you can see, we're screwed in and now we can pull these wires through here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our wires on here. Now, as I mentioned previously, you do not have to have these in any specific order. All right, once they're secure, we can go ahead and place our ring doorbell in here. You may have to push the wires back into the hole just a little bit and we're gonna put it onto our mount. Now we're not gonna secure it yet. All right, so now we can get a good angle. So here is the angle we have right now. We obviously wanna make sure we get the entire front door here. Once you're happy with the angle that it's at, we have the top and bottom screws and we can use the included screwdriver to screw those down to secure it. All right, and to secure the ring to the mount, you do have the securing screws. As you can see here, you get three included as well as the screwdriver. And then they go on either side to secure the ring in place. And now you can go ahead and turn your power back on. And as you can see, we do have that white light around the doorbell. Now, uh, like I mentioned, it's not going to connect to the chime immediately, so you do have to do that in the app. All right, now to get our chime to work, our indoor chime, uh, you need to go into the device settings here. We're gonna go into device settings, again, in-home chime settings, and then automatic chime detection. It says easily detect and set up your doorbell chime. All right, checking your doorbell system, okay? Uh, it says, is your doorbell wired to an in-home doorbell chime? Yes. Now it says, ring it. Now, oh, push the button. All right. Just ring normally. And did want to give you a quick comparison uh, between the two ring doorbells, so the uh, first generation and the second generation. So going into the first one, uh, this is at night, and you can see in the first part uh, that the light is on, and uh, everything looks pretty well lit up. You can obviously see a little bit of blurriness in the center, and that's where the lens is scratched. And here it is with the light off. Uh, night vision didn't turn on, which is kind of strange, but you can still see everything pretty clearly. And then going into the new camera, uh, this one is 1080p, uh, and you can see right off the bat, it looks uh, way better. And then night vision turned right on as soon as we turned off the light. And then even with that night vision, uh, you can see my car clear as day. It looks absolutely great. And also I want to show you a quick sample during the day. So we'll start with the new doorbell. And uh, it's kind of a muggy day, but you can see that uh, after it loads, everything looks really super clear. You can see the front door there. You can see the car there in full detail um, and everything looks really, really good. And then uh, getting out of that and going into the old doorbell, you can see that it looks a little bit blown out, but again, it does have a scratch on the lens. Uh, so it doesn't look super great. I did change the view there, but you can kind of see as I zoom in, uh, that blurriness there so uh, definitely needed to be replaced and really happy with the new so one. there you have it the ring doorbell and the wedge mount uh, i think came out pretty good and i'm pretty pleased with it so far now other things about the ring that you might need to know uh, if you want to be able to save the recordings you do have to pay for that on a monthly basis three dollars per device and i think once you get up to three or more devices it's just ten dollars a month um, but that's for 30 days of recording other fun features, uh, there are little quick sayings that you can have uh, that play out of this. So if I press my doorbell now, which will cause my dogs to go crazy, uh, it'll actually have a little holiday message. So they have different seasonal ones you can add on there. But anyway, if you are interested in this, I'll leave a link down below where you can check it out as well as the wedge mount. Uh, both these are great. And if you have a door like mine where you come to the door, it's right there. That's what you need is that wedge mount. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next one.